was talking about it with my homie as well, Claro, and we were talking about how, you know, I used to be down on myself. We we're both talking about how it's not, it doesn't flow a lot of the times to have cis male friends. Not saying it's impossible, but it just doesn't flow sometimes. And I used to get mad at myself, like, why can't, why don't I have guy friends? And it shouldn't even be something I'm stressing about because, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's cis guys and their whole entire friend group is a bunch of guys. And I doubt that they're like, dang, I don't have any girlfriends. All I have is guy friends. But it's only when I only have queer and women friends that I'm like, why don't I have any guy friends? Like, I feel like it's that, that cis heteronormative standard that I feel like I have to meet. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I feel, and it's low key, I'm feeding into this idea that society has made that men are superior. So if you don't have guy friends, then what are you doing with your life? And it's like, that's not, that doesn't even make sense because women, queer people are literally human and fulfill me in the, in, in the way that I need to be fulfilled when it comes to friendships and relationships. So it's like, I don't need cis male friends. And Honestly, too, just the way that I've been brought up and the fact that I am trans, like, I don't like to use me being trans as like, oh, you know, I can excuse, but it's true. Like, I'm trans and a lot of the things that I do and the way I carry myself is different from some cis males, hetero cis males. So that's just something that I have to accept. And I've accepted it because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't do a lot of the the normative things that people do like it's not even just cis males but in general and people in the world i just do things differently than a lot of people do them and i mean that in the way that like just even the conversations i like to have like i love to be stimulated in a way that i feel like only certain people can do for me and vice versa you know what i mean like i am not a small talk type of person i mean i'll i'll small talk like this weather we have you feel me but to have a real deep meaningful connection like the things that i want to talk about like you have to be open to and i've realized as well okay you know i can have friends like this that don't know a lot about of my community and all this stuff and i'm like i can just teach them and put them on but it's like that's not my responsibility in the world when it comes to my relationships to have to teach someone how to navigate me i guess but then like it's i'm it's a fine line like i am i'm open to you know what i'm saying teaching someone but I guess I can't teach you the whole 100% of what you need to do to be my friend or be in a relationship with me. So that's something I have to accept as well. Um, because, yeah, the, the relationships I have now, I don't really have to explain certain things, um, at least in depth. And if I do, it's it's like here and there. It's not like a continual, I keep having to explain my identity to you and keep having to almost prove to you why i'm valid type of thing because one when, when that happens it's not even why am i even here anymore type deal like why am i in this relationship if i have to prove my identity to you i don't i don't have to prove anything to anyone so yeah that's why i i like i love my circle actually i don't even like my circle i love my circle because i don't have to over explain myself and they just get me and i i'm not bashing anyone any cis person any heterosexual person whatever non-queer person for being themselves because if you're authentic to yourself and that's who you are like that's that's beautiful that's literally the point of being alive but it's just the fact that i'm just not going to relate to you in the same way that you can't relate to me because of our differences and that's okay not to say that i cannot have conversations and be friends with people that are not don't have the same background as me but i feel like you just have to come differently and and vice versa you know what i mean like say uh this, this is an example like i'm going to mexico right okay i just because i'm african and someone's mexican doesn't mean we can't have relations but what does need to happen is i need to already have a pre a pre uh thought up respect a pre respect and at least some knowledge of the person's culture of the country that I'm going to visit and if say a Mexican person wants to visit Africa doesn't mean that they can't visit Africa but they should have a at least some knowledge uh, to at least get them you know what I mean accustomed to where they're about to go does that make sense like so I'll give the straight up example now like say a straight person wanted to come um, 
a non-queer person wants to go to a queer event doesn't mean they can't go to the queer event but i feel like it would just make everything more comfortable if they had at least some information of what being queer even meant doesn't mean they need to know about the whole queer community and like all the lingo and all the information and everything no but if you're gonna go into a space you need to know at least a little bit about what you're walking into that goes a long way because say a, a cis male dude comes up to me right and you know what i mean i tell him hey i'm trans and he the cis dude already knows at least a little bit to be like oh, okay i understand like i'm i you know what i'm saying i don't know a trans person myself but I've done some research. I know a little bit about trans people. Then that will make me feel more comfortable and more willing to actually have a conversation and build a relationship because you're putting in that half. It's 50-50. You feel me? Like you cannot come here in my in my in my circle and expect me to like op welcome you with open arms and you don't know anything about me or my community and you don't and you're not even open to to you're not even open to hearing or learning or anything like that. So I think energy plays a big part. It's how you come and you step because it's inevitable. There's differences regardless of gender, there's differences regardless of race. Like all those factors, race, gender, sexuality, sex, um, just parts of the world that we live in, culture, we all have our differences, but it's about how we navigate those differences. And you know, I'm not gonna force myself. That's like That's like a white person being like, dang, I only have white friends. Why don't I have any black friends? And then them trying to go find black friends just for the sake of saying I have black friends. That's not <laughs> that's not how it works. And that's how I'm moving as well. Like, I don't want to go find cis dudes for the sake to be like, I have a cis friend. Like, no, if it comes naturally, it comes naturally. And you know what I mean? Life is going to go on. I, I may or may not attract uh, a cis person, a cis male's energy. If I do, great. If not, it just wasn't meant to be. So yeah um and i realized it goes both ways because there's things i don't understand about cis males that they don't understand about trans dudes but it's just the fact that we have to be willing to understand each other so yeah i'm i'm, I'm down for that connection to happen but i just want to talk and make this video because i did have a lot of turmoil inside of me about why don't i have them in like that that longing for a cis male friend just to almost validate myself and that's not even that's not where i need to be that's not it's not healthy to even think like that just like i said the example of a white person trying to get black friends for the sake of saying being able to say they have black friends and you can't knock a white person with all white friends if that's just who they are and that's what they attract like i don't you know what i mean it would be different if like okay say I was white and I and I there's black people trying to talk to me and like we're actually vibing and I'm just like nah I don't want to be your friend because you're black that's different than just not having a person from that group as my friend because it just hasn't happened and we haven't connected so yeah I think everything it feels better when it's organic and it's not forced so I truly 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 want all my relationships to be organic um yeah literally like if I had a if I was looking for a girlfriend right I don't want to look for a girlfriend just for the sake of saying, okay, I'm finna get this girl so I can have a girlfriend. Like, that doesn't, it's not, long term, it's not going to be a very uh, good relationship, at least in my eyes, compared to one that forms organically. Like, it's okay to have the thoughts like, hmm, it would be nice if I had a girlfriend. And then it'll come along organically as long as I'm working on myself and, like, building myself up in that, in that direction to be able to have and maintain a girlfriend. You know what I mean? Like, organic <laughs> organic right everything is better when it's organic that chicken better when it's organic that watermelon bet nah actually uh, organic watermelon i don't believe in um as long as it has black seeds in it you're good because organic watermelon bro since when is watermelon not organic what y'all doing to the watermelons well the watermelon that has no seeds in it is not organic because they genetically modify it so that it doesn't have seeds but anyways this turned into a little food science class, you feel me? I'm telling you all the mechanics of food. They be bioengineering everything from fruit to the damn chicken to, to the damn beef we eat. Anyways, it's a lot. But stay safe out here, y'all. Organic is the way to go. Natural. Just let things form naturally. You don't have to force it. If you have to force it, it's not good. It's not, period. Like, if you, if you bro, them chicken wings that they be pumping up with them, them hormones and stuff that aren't organic, not it if you you should have just let the chicken grow organically 
and when it was ready to be harvested it was ready to be harvested but you rushing there talking about i want i just want the i want the chicken wings to be bigger so we can sell them and make more money now it's tainted because you didn't you weren't patient you just pumped that hoe up you slaughtered the chicken and, I, and then you sell it to everybody it wasn't ready it wasn't ready you see what i'm saying if things haven't happened for me yet it's because i'm not ready and i'm not at the stage yet to to have it so yeah but yeah that's pretty much all i gotta say um if you see me with a cis male friend or a cis male hetero friend could because actually they don't have to be hetero because as long as you're um a cis male that's like the the difference that i'm talking about right now because you can be cis and a male but be like queer you can be a cis male and be gay cis male and be bi so yeah but on that note peace out y'all again organic is the way to go don't let them play you bro